we can change the background color of the entire row based on a value in the cell. Row color based on the value in a single cell in that row. For example, color the rows in different colors based on the value in quantity. Select the rows you want to color. On the Home tab in the Styles group, click on Conditional Formatting and select New Rule. In the New Formatting Rule window, select Use a Formula to determine which cells to format. To color the row when the value in column D is greater than or equal to 20, enter this formula in the text box equal to $D2 greater than or equal to 20. Use an absolute column and relative row reference. Put a dollar sign before the cell address. When the formula is copied across the row, the column number does not change. Click on Format, go to Fill tab and choose the background color. If you don't like the default colors, click on More Colors and pick a color and click on OK. Click on OK. You will see a preview in the preview box. Click on OK. All the rows where the quantity greater than or equal to 20 are colored in the selected color. Color the rows with the different colors based on multiple conditions. To color the rows where quantity is greater than or equal to 10 with a different color, add another rule. Select the same cells and create a new rule. Use the formula equal to $D2 greater than 10 and select a color. Click on OK. All the rows where quantity greater than or equal to 10 are colored in blue including the rows where quantity greater than or equal to 20. After the second formatting rule is created, you must set the rules precedence so that both the rules will work correctly. You can set the rules precedence in Rules Manager. On the Home tab in the Styles group, click on Conditional Formatting and select Manage Rules. If the rules are not listed in the Show Formatting Rules for drop-down, choose this worksheet. When multiple rules are applied to a cell, the rule on the top is given precedence. We want to color the rows with quantity greater than or equal to 20 green. So move that rule to the top of the list, select the rule and click on up arrow. Click on OK. Now the rows where the quantity is greater than or equal to 20 are colored in green. And rows where quantity is greater than or equal to 10 and less than 20 are colored in blue. Change a row color based on a text value in a cell. Color the rows based on values in the payment column. Paid. Color the row in green. Due in X days. Color in yellow. And if it is past due, color in red. The row color will change when the status gets updated. You need to create three rules. In the first rule, use this formula equal to trim $F2 equal to paid and select green color. Use the trim function to remove the leading spaces in the string. In the second rule, use this formula equal to trim $F2 equal to pass due and select red color. For the third rule, the formula using equal to will not work as we have different number of days. Use this formula and select yellow color. The search function also works for partial match. The search function returns the position of the specified string if it finds the string. Now the rows are colored based on the payment status. Row color based on a text value that starts with the specific text in a cell. In the earlier rule, the row will be colored no matter where due in is in the string. If we want to color the rows only for due in and not urgent due in, change the formula. Select any cell and click on Conditional Formatting and select Manage Rules. Select the rule and click on Edit Rule. Change the formula. Only when the value starts with the due in, the search function returns 1 and the formula returns true. Click on OK. Click on OK and apply the change and close the window. Now only rows where the status starts with the due in are colored. The row where the value in status starts with the urgent is not colored. Change rows color based on multiple conditions. If you want to color the rows in the same color based on multiple conditions, you can use the OR or AND functions. 
For example, color the orders due in one or two days in one color and those that are due in three or four or five days in another color. Use this formula to color due in one or two days. Use the OR function. You are not limited to using only two conditions in such formulas. You can use as many as you want. Use this formula to color due in three, four or five days. The OR function returns true if any of the conditions are met and the rows are colored. Use the AND function to color the rows when quantity is greater than or equal to 10 and less than or equal to 20. Use this formula. The formula returns true only when both conditions are met. Change row color based on values in multiple columns. Use a combination of OR and AND functions. To color the row where quantity is greater than or equal to 10 and less than or equal to 20 and product is banana or orange, use this formula. The AND function returns true when the value in D2 is greater than or equal to 10 and less than or equal to 20. The OR function returns true when the value in C2 is banana or orange. The formula returns true only when both these functions return true. To download practice Excel file, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.